Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Amy from PenVentral. I even set up the mood for you all. Welcome to another Fountain Pen Overview. And this is the first exclusive limited edition writing instrument of PenVenture of 2023. Are you ready for the Arabian Nights? One of the most special moments in my fountain pen journey is the one that I attribute each time that I'm developing a exclusive writing instrument with a company and I stand here in front of you showcasing that specific project. And the fact that my heart is racing right now, it's a good sign because I've been working on this writing instrument for the past year plus. Uh, it, it's emotional and uh, it's the culmination of everything that means passion in me in regards to writing instruments and it's just poof, mind blowing. Let's, let's start with defining what is an exclusive writing instrument. For those of you who don't know, an exclusive line of writing instruments is when a pen retailer like myself is going to have a very long collaboration with a manufacturer of writing instruments and uh, that manufacturer of writing instruments it's going to entrust myself with changing some design aspects, picking a specific model of them, tweaking it, adjusting it, and producing a exclusive edition of that specific model sold only through that specific shop, in this case, our shop, PenVenture. I just love to collaborate with Leonardo of China Italiana because throughout these years, we've been very, very successful. They entrusted us more and more with our decisions in regards of exclusive writing instruments. And today, a lot of them stand as proof that we are just simply a very, very cohesive team, ourselves and Leonardo. And uh, we do have a lot of good things to put into the fountain pen community and for you all. So what do I have today is the culmination of two brands and uh, an idea coming from myself. The model that we based our fountain pen was picked from Leonardo of China Italiana. As for a material, we went with one of the most famous uh, fountain pen materials manufacturer, Jonathan Brooks from Carolina Pen Company, which is a good friend of ours. And we proposed something unique. So first of all, we developed the material for this fountain pen. And then we developed the actual collection and we picked the model based on the material. So we went a little bit backwards to say so. As for the usual with our overviews, I'm gonna show you the fountain pen, what have been so, so rewarding to see today as a prototype. Then I'm gonna show you some details regarding it. You already know the model. It's the Momento Zero series. So it's a very, very known model. I'm gonna skip through some of the aspects that are very common to your Momento Zero at home. Then we will go into a writing sample. And in the end, I'm going to tell you some of the things that I personally like about this specific project. And uh, then we're going to end the video. I know you are not here for the talking part, so I've teased you enough. Let me show you the fountain pens, how they look. Fountain pens as being two, because we do have two trim colors. This is the Momento Zero PenVenture exclusive Arabian Nights using Carolina Pen Company primary manipulation. It looks gorgeous. In my opinion, it's a material that's simply so, so good in uh, person. And I really like what uh, Jonathan Brooks had put together for us. And you may look at this material as being primary manipulation and you may be asking yourself why this is not familiar with any other primary manipulation. Good question. You know why? Because Jonathan Brooks developed this material along with another one, but I'm not going to spoil the surprise yet. You will find out later this year which one it is. And uh, these two materials were poured for us. Are those materials exclusive to us? No, but as we know today, these two materials, this one and another one, those are only available right now through PenVenture. And we decided to pick the Momento Zero series, a first purchase fountain pen. Why don't we use a very, very great and known platform as bringing it a shine, something unique, something that can put together a very, very nice aspect package 
with Jonathan Brooks as uh, the, the resin manufacturer that put together this incredible material for us. Let's go into some of the details. We do have silver trims and gold trims. I do like the gold on this one, but just to be sure that whenever this fountain pen is ordered, there is another option like the silver color trim to go together with someone who likes silver color trims. I'm gonna pick the gold for myself because you know what? As usual, one of these fountain pens will be in the company museum, so it will be with me. Overall, the shape is very, very comfortable. It's not too big. We do have the tapered shape, which is already known in the Momento Zero series with the cap slightly larger than the barrel. At this point, tapering slightly in towards the finial right here and much more towards the barrel at the back right here. The clip is just like the one that you have at home on any other Momento Zero. Obviously, there is a reason behind myself picking the Momento Zero series because it's the first model that started our collaboration with Leonardo of Cine Italiana. And I believe it's one of their most iconic models. If you put the word Leonardo of Cine Italiana, Momento Zero, it's started everything. Not too big, not too small, very comfortable. I just simply like it a lot. What's different? Well, right here, and I'm gonna try to zoom in, opposite to the clip, we do have the Penventure logo, and that is engraved right there. Looks beautiful. And a little bit lower right here, we have the limited edition number. And since this is a prototype, we have dash of 80 fountain pens. The complete series will have 80 fountain pens. The prototypes are not numbered. Those will be in our company museum. Your fountain pens will have from one to 80, only 80 fountain pens. Three rings, beautiful, beautiful as always. And uh, let's uncap the fountain pen. We have one complete turn of the cap. Let's get to the writing point. On the Momento Zero Arabian Nights, you will find the still La Fenice Leonardo of China Italiana nib. And this is a gorgeous, gorgeous nib, stamped fine point on this prototype. And it is powered by a ABS plastic feeder. The nib together with the feeder are friction fitted inside the plastic housing, which is screwed in the section. Later in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can take apart and just swap it with anything that you have on other fountain pens in the Leonardo of China Italiana series. So if you have a nib unit, you can fit it on this fountain pen section. We went with the classical one in two different diameters, one right here and then tapering in towards another part right here. This is one of the sections that I grew to like on Leonardo of China Italiana, so this is what I picked on the Arabian Nights. Then we have the, the threads of the capping system. Then we have this part right here. Then this ring, which is colored like the entire trims of the fountain pen. The barrel starts at the thickest point right here, tapering in towards this ring right here. And of course, like with any other Momento Zero, you can unscrew this blind cap and you have access at the converter. And you actually have a piston-like action if you use this technique. Anyway, I'm going to show you how it looks inside when you take the barrel out and everything looks very, very nice, tidy, clean and everything. Now, let me show you how you would remove the nib out of the fountain pan as a housing. So if you have something similar, you can use it and you can put any other nib unit of your Leonardo, the La Fenice nib inside and it's going to have a very, very versatile way of cleaning the fountain pen, of uh, maybe using one of your favorite nibs. If you like how it writes, you can put it inside this fountain pen. Pretty much this is the overall look of our Momento Zero Arabian Nights. Now, let me tell you some of the things regarding the material, because this is the special thing. This is the, the, the star of this collection. Well, this material, it's a very, very gorgeous mix of this chateau and purple together with gold. But this gold looks like brownish gold. So actually it looks like the sands. So you can imagine an Arabian night and the place where the sky, the purple sky of the night is just gonna meet the sand dunes. And this is the, the picture that I had in my mind. I described it to uh, Jonathan Brooks and he poured this unique resin for us, primary manipulation, the colors don't mix, they actually float. The, the effect is just simply very, very interesting. As for a reference, we do have both of this fountain pen, so you can clearly see 
the difference is every single fountain pen of the 81s in this collection is unique so you actually get a random mix of purple and gold and just to show you something similar i'm going to put it side by side a visconti medici because that brownish gold looks very similar maybe it's a little bit more gold than brown versus the medici but i am simply in love with this fountain pen so i'm going to pick the gold trim version as my personal fountain pen and i'm going to get to the dimensions right away kept like this the fountain pen measures 142 millimeters uncapped in right position like so it measures 100 128 millimeters posted like this it is measuring 165 millimeters also posted in writing position fully inked it's gonna weigh 28 grams and uncapped in writing position is gonna weigh 20 grams and before handing into the writing sample, let me tell you a few things regarding the pricing on this fountain pen. So the actual pricing, it's not going to be the same like with any other Leonardo Momento Zero made out of resin. Since this is primary manipulation and we did had quite a few of these rods made, shipped in between Leonardo of China Italiana and Jonathan Brooks and so on, this material, it's a little bit more expensive. So the pricing will be 240 euros that included for those of you that reside outside of eu the pricing will be without that in that case is 201 202 euros around there anyway every single fountain pen is available either in gold color trim or silver color trim as for nib sizes we can go extra fine fine medium broad and a 1.5 millimeter stub la finish and also two elastic options elastic fine and elastic extra fine but those are not available in the la finish look so they will be like the ones that are laser engraved in the past from leonardo of china italiana 80 round of pants limited edition with this beautiful gorgeous material let's see how this nib is performing on a piece of paper since the name of the fountain pen is arabian nights let's use my exclusive ink desert rose it's still purple and it has uh, the green gold sheen which i simply adore and uh, seems like purple is the current theme of pen venture i think we do have a lot more things to discover in regards of our purple fountain pens and this will not be the last purple one spoiler alert and let's give it a try so we have pen Leonardo Momento Zero, a Pen Venture exclusive, and this is Arabian Nights. And we have ink, this is Diamine Desert Rose. And we have the nib, steel, and this is a fine point, La Finisse. Paper, we are on Tomoy River paper, 52 GSM. This is a Hobonichi notebook, so it's a very good quality paper. And let's give it a try with the wetness test. And uh, who said these Lafayette's nibs are just simply lacking ink flow? This is a double pass. As you can clearly see, we do have moderate ink flow. Very, very good. In my opinion, this is what I would expect from a fine point. I would like to see it writing like a fine point and not having a ink flow till the end of the page. Fire hose wet, uh, putting down almost like a medium line. Normal, figure of eight and uh, fine but it looks like a very very good gorgeous ink flow fine point a little bit close to a medium but still a finish nib flex steel nibs are a little bit rigid so if you apply a little bit of pressure you do have some line variation but this is not what they are made to offer if you want something to have some line variation Pick the elastic options. Now let's give it a try with the sentence and I'm going to use a little bit more speed. The quick brown fox 
jumps over the lazy dog beautiful beautiful nib hint of a feedback this is the ultimate test if you let it ride under its own pressure without anything it's going to perform wonderful good riding hint of a feedback smooth okay this is usually the part in which i'm sharing my personal opinions regarding a specific fountain pen but when it comes to my exclusive fountain pens, my opinion will be biased. Anyway, these writing instruments are the, the, the sole fruits of the ideas that I was able to put together and the contacts and the people that I just simply have as friends, as connections, as people that trust me with my choices in regards of colors, models, and they are just simply the ones that I owe so much things too. Right now, I would like to say a big thank you towards Leonardo of China Italiana and to Jonathan Brooks, because they both entrusted me so much with their materials, with their models, with their companies, their brands, their production capabilities. I hope I did a good job by actually getting this collection, this writing instruments. You are supporting us to just continue with our exclusive line of writing instruments and to just simply take on much more interesting ideas, different ideas to explore the capabilities of different production companies and the materials and people. And simply, it's the way that you can support us if you like PenVenture as a company. It's a gesture that says thank you to us and uh, we are so grateful for you all that supported us throughout so many years. Each time, we will try to outdo ourselves. If you are interested to get one of these fountain pens down below, I'm gonna leave you the link. You can go there, pick the nib size that you want, pick the trim color that you like. In the quickest time, we are going to just simply let Leonardo of China Italiana know which trim colors are gonna be put on the fountain pens and then we will ship them your way. So thank you so much. You have all the information. If you scroll down, links for the website, uh, our details, my email, phone number, anything and everything that you may need in order to get in contact with us. Thank you so much for your support. If you find this content useful, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. We will love to reach to many more uh, passionate individuals just like you and us. Also, if you are not a PenVenture YouTube channel subscriber, consider supporting us by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Click there, turn on the notification bell on, and you will be notified whenever we have new content. Speaking about content, if you want to continue watching my videos, I'm gonna leave you this right here. You can click and enjoy. As always, I'm your host, Amy from PenVenture. I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe, bye-bye.